ladies and gentlemen all, to the first full event of Ireland's greatest literature festival, the Court International Festival of Literature. And you're all very welcome here to this delightful and unexpected location. It's great <laughs> to be at the prom, even at slight distance, but this is just wonderful. So you're all really welcome. On behalf of the Court Festival, whose uh, fabulous director, Maple Renan, is here, on behalf of the Kenny Galleries, and Bookshop and Tom Kenny and Karen Kenny and I'm sure several of the Kennys are here as well and on behalf of the Galway City Arts Office we welcome you here today to the latest iteration of the iconic series of plaque unveilings that seems to have been taking place since about the dark ages but actually only started in 2006 with Seamus Heaney. The Seamus Heaney uh, plaque is just across the way there, Marcin O'Diron is beside it, Paul Durkin will be launched further on prom down Grattan Road on Tuesday at four o'clock. You're all very welcome to that. But today we are initiating and unveiling a plaque by one of Galway's greatest artists, a dear friend of Galway and a tremendous chronicler of the city and the county. And it's one of his beautiful haikus that forms the basis of this elegant plaque that is shortly going to be unveiled for you. And to do the unveiling, we are delighted to have two of Galway's very favourite people, Sonny Jacobs and Peter Pringle, who are going to do the unveiling. And after the unveiling, Sonny is going to read five haiku. So now we call Sonny and Peter over to the plaque officially to unveil it. that it would be most appropriate and although we're not haiku writers, only appreciators, we decided that we would speak in haiku for the occasion. Never in haiku. Never in here. Here. Okay? There you go. Melodious notes fill the air today. John Nee sings to me. The spirit of John Nee is a gift to humankind. It is kindness pure. The spirit of John Nee is a touch of the divine. It is love that will endure. The spirit of John Nee is like a lotus in mud, frog chorus singing. <laughs> the spirit of John Nee bringing joy to all who hear, see this plaque, and breathe. We love our dear friend John Nee, like the other famous little John, he's a giant, not a physical giant like the other one, but a giant talent and a giant heart and a giant love that is always ready to give and give more. So today we're here to give love to you, our dear little John. Thank you for the gift of your talent and your love and your wonderful imagination and your unselfish generosity and all the wonderful joy and tears and of laughter that you have given to so many of us for so long. We are grateful for the honor of being able to unveil this plaque today. To you, John Lee, we love you and to posterity. Thank you all. Because Alex is so good. We do, we do need the microphone. 
Anyway, yeah. So we now hand over to the man himself, the one, the only, Little John Lee. Thank you very much. It would have been a bit embarrassing if there was nobody here, I must admit. And thank you, Peter and Sonny. And um, obviously I'm overwhelmed by it. I picked the right people to say nice things because I knew out of all my dear friends here today that if I had to be 100% sure of people saying nice things about me, I'd be better picking with Peter and Sonny because I know there's lots of people who I may have asked who would have promised me that they would say nice things when the time came they would find it hard to say nice things about me. I'm not looking at anyone in particular, you know who you are and um, there's a lot of you here today actually. Um, so I'd like to say thank you very much to Kenny's very, very, and to uh, City Council, City Corporation and uh, to Kurt, I'm so honoured and thank you very much and uh, I'm going to sing a quick song. <coughs> this is, this, none of this would actually would have happened without my, but this book, which wouldn't have happened had it not been for my dearest friend, uh, Kiva Holland. Uh, she encouraged the publication of this, and so, yeah, so she's responsible for this, and she's in turn responsible for this. And as you can see, it's taken a salt hill turn on the, the, the haiku, because it's supposed to be five syllables, seven syllables, and five syllables, but there's a whole Salt Hill thing going on here where it is six syllables, six syllables, and five syllables. And uh, I'd like to thank Kiva again, who probably had a hand in that as well, just so that I don't get too big-headed or anything. She's just, just shown the imperfections of life. It's really appropriate that it's here because this is one of those beautiful sights in the world for me. It makes me feel at home when I see that sight. When always when we're going away to Dublin to get you come back in the train, as soon as you see that, you know you're home. And I'm even thinking that maybe now that the stone is actually here, that maybe when that time comes and I'm passed away, that we might get a little ash tray put here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, if you're still here, you can make sure there's a little ash tray put here. Um, I'd like to welcome Orlando um, from Florida. Yeah. Cuba, 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 living in Florida, yeah, and he's, been, he's enjoying his time in Galway because he made feel very welcome, as I was made feel very, very welcome from the word go, it's been home to me, you know, and I thank you all for that, this is brilliant because it's encouragement as an artist, and, uh, and I've been given so much encouragement throughout the years, and the stone is here now, but at the same time, there's times when there's no stone here. <laughs> and there are a lot of dark nights as well when I needed encouragement. And it was my dear friends who gave me encouragement and that from really grateful for that. Um, and to encourage younger artists, two of the artists who inspire me most. Well, there's a few of them here actually as, as, as well now today. There's a whole gang of them here. And, um, but particularly, well, there's Mia and Jack. Uh, and Shifra, I know she, a whole generation of young artists, some who I have not met, but who really inspire me and get me off this. So, but I'm particularly Amy and Harry, who are two of my favorite artists in the world, and uh, they inspire me with their poetry and with their, uh, all their art, but mostly with their creative spirit. And that's what we need now is creative spirit, because otherwise the world is totally <laughs> yes, so, I agree. I'm going to, yeah, so thank you guys for your energy and your inspiration. and. Uh, I'm going to sing a song now, and that'll be it then. You can go then. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a pen, I had a pen, and um, because I thought the best way, haikus of the moment, so, um, yeah. I had a pen, but I don't. Haiku being of the moment, I will keep to my tradition of um, having a song of the moment. So if I had maybe six words to, to sing a song with, or seven oh, words. So anyone like to shout up a word? Love. Love. Oh, Lando, Lovely. Huh? Black, rock. Black rock. Can we? Okay. That's all the nice people shouting up them Freedom. small words. Freedom. <laughs> Freedom. Thank you, Orlando. Freedom. Cabbage. Cabbage. Thank you. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you. So we're, those are the words that we want. Word, words with syllables, awkward words. Words to make my life difficult. Th thank you, yes, thank you. Words to make my life difficult. This come Bob, you late. 
<laughs> I don't know if uh, you can actually do that in ukulele. <laughs> anyway, okay, give, another three words, space stations. The sea. The sea. Okay, can we have, sea's a beautiful word, but can we have some difficult words like discombobulate? Xenophobic. Xenophobic. <laughs> Bermudas. Xenophobic Bermudas. Bermudas, bikinis, and one word to finish it off, the hardest word you can think of. Sorry? Ukulele. Ukulele, that's too easy. <laughs> hydrangea. Lovely hydrangea. That's a lovely salt hill kind of word. Hydrangea. hydrangea actually captures the essence. That is very haiku, isn't it? Hydrangea. Okay, so the words that you have been given is love, <laughs> black rock, freedom, cabbage, discombobulate, sea, Xenophobia, xenophobic, um, Bermuda, bikinis, and hydrangea. Yeah. yeah just, I'll give you, Dolores will give you your pen back. I thought of a nice chord sequence. I don't know if they have the words going to fit into it though. Can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> They talk of love Love, love, love They talk of love Love, love, love I love salt hill I love black rock I love my freedom Cause freedom rock
<laughs> thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you for the video. Thank you. Thank you, John. Now everyone's invited down to Lonergan's. If you don't know where Lonergan's is, ask the person next to you. If you found here, you'll be able to find Lonergan's for some tea and coffee, just sort of afternoon tea. So you're all welcome to come down to Lonergan's. If you want more than that, you'll have to pay it for yourselves, unfortunately. But we thank you all so much for coming here. We thank Tom Kenny and the Inestable Kenny clan for coordinating the whole thing. We thank the photographer royal, Joe Shocks. We thank Maeve Mulrenn Derville Byrne from Courch, and we wish you all the best for Courch this week. This is the first event, as we said. Alex Fernie, great sound, and Sonny and Peter for an inspiring unveiling. And every time we pass this, we think of this day today. So thank you, folks. See you all in London.